Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Notreal Engineering. And in this video, we are going to do basic analysis of trust using ANSYS Workbench. This is the fourth video of ANSYS tutorial series. And if you want to see other videos, you can go to this channel's playlist and find out all other videos in this series. Before we start, you should know what is truss. Truss is a thin line-like structure as shown over here, which can support only axial loads. Therefore, a truss can undergo only tensile or compressive loads and not movements or shear forces. If you want to analyze movements and shear forces, you have to use beam elements, not truss elements. Now, this is the example we are going to solve today. Length of each segment in this diagram is 50 meters and the cross section area of truss is one meter square with a square cross section. This left point is fixed as shown over here and this right end has roller support. Finally, loads are applied at two points over here and here, which is 1000 Newtons. We are going to use material as steel with Young's modulus of 200 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio 0.3. This is the basic workflow of ANSYS. We will go through each step and see how to solve this problem. And these are the units which we will use. Let's start with ANSYS Workbench. Once you start ANSYS Workbench, you will see this project tab. Now we are interested in static response. Therefore, you have to choose this static structural. You can just drag it and drop it over here. And you can rename this project. I will rename it as Trust, Trust Analysis. Now, first thing before we start, go into properties of this geometry. Just right click on this geometry and go in properties. And here tick mark on this line bodies. By default, it will be off. So you can just turn it on and close it. Now let's go sequentially. First, we chose static structural that defines the type of analysis. Then second, here we have to define the material. Just double click on this and you will see here by default ANSYS give you one material which is structural steel and all the properties of that material are over here. You can see here Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal and Poisson's ratio is 0.3. So these are the exact same values which we wanted in our material. So we'll just use this default material which is structural steel. If you want to create your own material, I have a separate video about it. Please check out this video. Then just close this tab again. So material is also ready. Now we will create the geometry. Now to create the geometry, you can right click on this geometry tab. And now you have two options over here. One is space claim geometry and another is design modular geometry. Space claim is kind of for advanced or complex geometries. It has many, many options, but design modular is their traditional modeling tool, which is kind of limited, but it is enough for simple geometries like what we are going to solve. Therefore, I am going to choose design modeler. It will take some time to pop up and then this design modeler window will open. First, you can check the units. It is already in meters. If it is not in meters, select meters over here. Then click on XY plane. You can look at the XY plane in normal direction using this button. And now here we will construct our geometry. First go in sketching and using this line element, you can draw two line segments first which will act as base and then give the dimensions using this dimension tab just click on that line segment and you can choose its dimension. You can see both dimensions are over here and this I will make 50 and 50 as our length of line segment is 50. Now this is our base. Now again go into draw select line segment and draw approximately another line segment and again go into dimension and make them 50 50 similarly one more time over here go into draw select line again in dimension 50 and 50. Finally, the last line which will connect these two points. Now, when you draw this line, you will see it is already in blue. So you don't have to dimension this line because it is already constrained because of all other dimensions. If still, if you try to dimension this point, the ANSYS will give you error, which says this new dimension makes your model over constrained. So we don't want over constrained model. Therefore, this dimension, I will just delete it and that's it. So this is our geometry. 
Now next thing is to create cross section. For that go in this concept in cross section and select rectangular. And you can see there is a rectangular cross section over here with dimension 0 0.01 0 0.01. This we will make 1 meter by 1 meter. And this is the square cross section which we need. Then select generate. Now again go into concept and go into line from sketches. Here you have to select all the line segments by holding the control button. They will turn yellow when you select them and then say apply and generate. Now you can see one body over here line body. This is our truss geometry and here you have to select cross section rectangular one which is actually a square cross section and that's it. Now your geometry is ready. So now you can just minimize this and you can see over here the green tick mark in geometry which means geometry is ready. So next is model. You can just double click on this model and another window will pop up and all the remaining steps 4, 5, 6, 7 we will do it over here. You can see geometry is already over here. First make sure units are metric. You can see units over here. Those are in metric. Now it's easier if you just follow this workflow. So start from the top and go towards the bottom. Now first is geometry. We already have geometry over here. Then it is materials. So material also structural steel which was provided by ANSYS default material that is also here. Then next is cross section which is rectangular cross section that is also already selected. And then next is mesh. So select on this mesh. And as this is a simple geometry we can just use default mesh. So just click on this generate. And ANSYS will generate a mesh for you. As you can see this looks acceptable. So we don't have to do anything in this. And finally go to static structural. Here we have to apply boundary conditions and loads. First select this fixed. And select this one point. Make sure to select this one point and not the entire segment. See apply over here. And now this point is fixed. We want to apply roller support on this right point. For that select displacement. Select this point. And again see apply over here. And for rolling support the X component should be free. But Y component and Z component should be zero. That's done. Next load for that select this force. Select this point first. Say apply. And over here you can define load in two ways. One is defined by vector where you can select the magnitude and direction or you can change this to component and you can define three components of load. In our case Y component is minus 1000 and other two components are 0 0. One more time force to this point. Again say apply first. I'm going to change this to components again and Y component minus 1000. That's it. So our model is now ready. Go to this solution tab. Over here you can right click on this solution and insert what information you are interested in. So for example total deformation or let's say maybe directional deformation as well. And then here you can insert beam tool. This beam tool will give you stresses and strain in those all segments. Hit solve. If you did everything correctly there should not be any error and we will see the results soon. Yep, done. The results are ready. Now you can just click on this total deformation and you will see how the truss is deforming. Values of deformation are over here. Unit is in meters. You can see the deformation is very small. That is because 1000 Newton force is not a big force when you compare to the structure of this size which is in meters. Therefore this deformation is exaggerated. If you want to see the actual deformation with correct scale you can go over here and select the true scale option. And this is the correct scale. If you go to beam tool you can see the stresses. Unit is in Pascal and also if you go in this solution information you will see all the report. So in this again all the information about your analysis will be there. I will not go into details of this. This is a huge topic. We will make a separate video about this. Please let me know in the comment section if you want me to make video about how to read this solution information. If you want to see the reaction forces at this fixed support or at this displacement support. 
for that again you have to go in this solution click right click over here say insert and go in probe and in this you can find reaction force so click on this and here select which boundary condition you want so let's say fix support then we will get reaction force over here and similarly you can do it one more time probe force reaction and then here select displacement so we will get reaction force at this displacement support and now once you added these two again hit solve and again if you click on this you will see value of reaction force in all three components you can see most of the reaction is in y direction and there is a very negligible reaction in x and z direction similarly if you go to force reaction 2 you will see the reaction force at this point again x and z is almost nothing and reaction is only in y direction because it is a roller support and if you want to do the animation you can again go back to total deformation now i will choose this scale again to high scale so just select this auto scale over here because the animation will look good if the scale is high and then you can play the animation using this button you can see this point is fixed it is not moving at all and this point is moving in x direction anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to show your support and you can also find many similar videos which you might be interested in you can go to channels playlist tab and here you can find different playlists where all similar videos are combined together and as always thank you for watching